Hi, I'm Pam and I'm here at the shelter with Cashew and Pistachio who are about nine weeks old and waiting for their homes. Your little Siamese mix. And you're singing your little heart out, aren't you? You're from the same litter, obviously. Brothers and sister. This is the girl and this is the boy and they want down. <laughs> Pistachio and I would like to thank you for joining us for story time with Blaine Case. Wow, I am so excited to be back this week. So this week I'm going to read the Charlie book. The title is Charlie and His Neighbor. Now if you remember last week, I read Charlie and His New Friend and Charlie had met a lizard in his backyard, little Louie. And they were so different, but they ended up being best friends. So sometimes Louis can't get out to play with Charlie, so he often wanders around the neighborhood to visit the other animals in the neighborhood. And this week, he stopped by his neighbor. So let's begin. Charlie and his neighbor. Charlie is a funny looking dog with a three foot tail and his best friend Louie, a green, little green lizard, love to hang out together in the backyard whenever they can. They became friends last year when Louie got lost in Charlie's backyard. Charlie was really scared when he heard a noise in the grass while sniffing around in the backyard one day. He thought for sure something was going to eat him. And Louie was really scared when he saw Charlie and his long tail. He thought for sure Charlie was going to eat him. But it didn't take long for Charlie and Louie to become best of friends in spite of how different they were from each other. On days when Louie can't come over to play, Charlie sometimes hangs out on the front porch watching the other neighbors. Misha lives across the road from Charlie. She is a beautiful Siamese cat. She has bright green eyes and her jeweled collar is the talk of the neighborhood. It's decorated with diamonds and garnet gemstones. Misha isn't particularly friendly. If Charlie tries to visit her, she usually ignores him. You see, Misha thinks she's pretty special. She often brags about herself. In fact, she considers herself the queen of the neighborhood. Misha doesn't particularly like Charlie. He's always looks dirty, like he hasn't had a bath for weeks. He has big floppy ears, skinny legs, huge paw, and a tail. Charlie's tail is three feet long and it looks so silly on him. Sometimes she sees him trip over it. He's just so clumsy. So Misha usually pretends she's sleeping if Charlie wanders over. She doesn't want Charlie to think that she wants to be his friend. On the other hand, Charlie would really like to be Misha's friend, not because she's so beautiful, but because he would like to have more friends in the neighborhood. He does get lonely when Louie isn't around. And he thinks she must be lonely too. She spends hours and hours just sitting on the front porch. Her family is gone most of the day, just like Charlie's family. One day, Charlie wandered over to visit Misha. This day, Misha announced she would soon be a proud mother. She bragged about how special her little babies would be. She told everyone who went by that her little princesses would be the best thing that ever happened to their neighborhood. Misha thinks she's pretty special, Charlie thought. I wonder how she's going to take care of her babies. She never does anything but lie around licking her fur and telling everyone else what to do. She sure is going to be in for a surprise. The day finally came and Misha gave birth to three little kittens. 
She couldn't wait to show them off to everyone in the neighborhood. She carried each baby one by one out to the front porch to introduce them. This is little Mia. She is the oldest and she looks just like me. This is little Misty. She is the second oldest and looks like me too. And this is Miser. He's the youngest. Well, Charlie was surprised that Misha didn't have much to say about Miser. He was really cute, although he didn't look very much like his sisters. The color of his fur wasn't the same as Mia's and Misty's. His eyes weren't green like Misha's. They were brown and they didn't sparkle. He was just an ordinary kitten with a cute little face. Charlie visited Misha and the babies every week. He loved to play with the kittens, although Mia and Misty wouldn't join in. But Misa and Charlie would spend hours and hours chasing butterflies or jumping in leaves. Charlie had to keep an eye on Misa. He often wandered off, not paying attention to where he was going. One moment he was chasing grasshoppers and the next he was rolling in the pine needles. He just couldn't stay focused. Last week, he wandered right into the middle of the road. A speeding car was coming right towards him. Charlie grabbed him just in the nick of time. Charlie warned Misa, Misa, you have to be careful. You can't just wander out in the road, it's dangerous. You could get hit by a car or, or somebody might try to grab you. You have to stay in your yard, okay? Miser shook his head and said, I know, Charlie, but I can't help it. I just have so much fun playing outside that I forget to look where I'm going. Hey, Charlie, can we play roller coaster? Roller coaster was a game Charlie had taught Miser. Miser would grab onto Charlie's tail and Charlie would swing him around, running all through the yard. Misa loved this game. Charlie would get tuckered out because Misa always wanted to play roller coaster for hours. Oh, not today, Misa, said Charlie. I need to get home. We'll play tomorrow, okay, little buddy? Okay, Charlie, said Misa. Now, Misa, Charlie said in a serious voice, you need to head straight inside. I'll see you tomorrow. Miser headed toward his front porch. Charlie turned around and headed home. Later that evening, Charlie could hear someone crying outside. He stepped out into his front port yard. There was Misha pacing back and forth on her porch with a worried look on her face. Miser, Miser, it's time to come home, Misha called out. She kept meowing louder and louder. Miser, you need to come home now. She was becoming frantic. Charlie ran to her house to see what was wrong. Misha, what's the matter, he asked. Miser didn't come home for supper. She told Charlie, after you left this afternoon, I let him stay outside to play, but when six o'clock rolled around, he was nowhere to be found. It was now eight o'clock and starting to get dark. Charlie said, I'll go look for Misa. You stay here with Mia and Misty. So Charlie headed down the street, calling up to Misa. Misa, hey, little buddy, come on. It's time to go home. Charlie was starting to become concerned he knew Miser was afraid of the dark. Miser, where are you? Charlie was yelling at the top of his lungs. Suddenly, he heard a faint cry in the distance. Meow, meow. Miser, is that you? Charlie asked. Meow, meow. Miser, where are you? Charlie shouted. I'm over here, Charlie, said Miser. Please come get me. Hurry up. I'm scared. Charlie ran toward the voice he heard 
he came to an open sewer drain and looked inside. There, at the bottom of the drain, was Miser. Miser, are you okay? Are you hurt? Charlie asked. He was so glad to see little Miser. No, uh, uh, but I'm really scared and I'm cold. Please get me out of here, Miser cried. Charlie thought for a minute, wondering how was he going to get Miser out of the drain. Hey, why don't we play roller coaster, said Charlie. Miser shouted, yay, I love playing ro roller coaster. The thought of playing his favorite game made him forget how scared he was feeling. Charlie lowered his tail down to Miser and said, okay, now grab on real tight and I'll swing you around. Miser grabbed on so tight that Charlie yelped, hey, not that tight. Oh, sorry, Charlie, said Miser. Okay, here we go. Charlie slowly lifted Miser out of the sewer drain, then swung around so quickly that Miser tumbled to the ground. Charlie ran over to Miser to make sure he was all right. Charlie could see that Miser was okay, but he was still really concerned about him. Miser, what are you doing all the way down the road? He said rather sternly. Miser started to explain, I guess I just wasn't paying attention. I was outside playing and a little frog was hopping down the sidewalk, so I followed him. I didn't see the hole in the ground. When I fell in the hole, I hit my head. When I woke up, it was getting dark and I couldn't climb out and I thought I was gonna be stuck down here all night. Charlie looked at the little kitten and said, Miser, that's why you have to stay close to home. It's dangerous out here. Promise me you won't wander out of the yard again, okay? Promise? I promise, said Miser. Charlie carried Miser back to his house. Misha was so happy to see him. She felt badly because she knew she didn't pay much attention to Miser. He wasn't like her beautiful girls. He was rather clumsy. He often got easily distracted. He was just different. But she loved him more than ever, and she made a promise to herself to spend more time with Miser. Oh, she scolded him for wandering off, almost giving her a heart attack. But she kissed him and told him how much she loved him. Misha turned to Charlie and said, thank you. You're a good friend to my little miser. I don't know what I would do without him. She leaned over, kissed Charlie on the cheek and told him he was welcome to visit any time he wanted. Charlie blushed, oh, Misha, he's my little buddy. I, I didn't do anything special, I mean, that's what friends do for each other, right? From that day on, you would often see Charlie and Misha sitting together on her front porch, watching Mia, Misty, and Miser playing in the yard. Roller coaster is still the favorite game, only now, instead of one kitten hanging onto Charlie's tail, you'll see three of them. the end. So as you saw, Charlie really loved Misa. And even though Misha wasn't very friendly, he continued to try to be her friend. And he always wanted to make sure that Misha and the girls were safe. So I got to thinking, what's the lesson here? Well, Think about your best friend. How are you different from your best friend? Do you have different hair color, different eye color? Are you short and they're tall? Do you have the same likes, dislikes? What about your skin color? What about your religion? What about the foods you eat? All those things make you different, but would that make you not want to be friends with your best friend? Of course not. 
That's what makes this world wonderful, is just being different and sharing our differences and doing wonderful things and educating people about the way we are different. So remember that. Even somebody that's ordinary, that's different, wants to have friends. So that's the story for this week. Next week, I'm going to read Charlie and the School Bully. Now in this story, Charlie sees somebody being bullied. Wait till you see what happens. Have a great week. Be safe. Be kind. I'll see you next time.